Hi and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan. Our cameraman here is Henry and today we're going to show you the Grey Wolf 26 DJSE. Uh, this is a nice family unit. It has bunks in it and lightweight and it does have your power, on, power awning and your power tongue jack on this model. We're going to start up front with a power tongue jack. This does have your LED light here on the front if you're hooking up in the dark along with your extend retract switch and then in your adjustable foot down at the bottom. Behind the tongue jack is your dual 20 pound LP tanks. This does come with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into it. Behind there you'll notice the two bars. This is where you mount your uh, deep cycle marine battery and you can mount up to two if you do any dry camping you would want to otherwise you're fine with just one. This does have your radius front end here with your diamond plate rock guard here at the bottom. As we swing around to the passenger side, you do have a port like I mentioned if you are dry camping. There is a portable solar panel that you can purchase that plugs into this to maintain your batteries on the front. Storage compartment in the front you can access from inside or from out and I'll show you how to get to the inside when we get there. A lot of nice storage there and it does have your manual stabilizer jacks at the four corners so that does come equipped with that. If you move up front right here you'll see a quick connect for LP so if you have an outdoor grill that you'd like to quick connect into your LP bottles on the front you can do that through that port. This does come with a 15 foot awning. This is a power awning and it is adjustable right here on each side so you can adjust the pitch of the awning if it's raining and it does have your blue LED strip light underneath the awning there for your accent lighting. This also has what they call a friction hinge door. If you don't have the latches like we've had in the past this is to withstand 20 mile an hour winds as you can see it holds itself. Um, this does come with your stable step uh, this is a very solid step. You don't have the hanging step like they used in the past. And it does have an adjustment leg on each side so you can adjust to the contour of the ground. And this is very easy to set up and take down. You just basically pick it up and you have a tab on each side that rests against the frame of your door. You have a latch right there that holds it. You close the door and flip in your grab handle and you're ready to go so it's very it cleans everything up looks good easy to set up and take down right here is your outside entertainment so you have blue LED lighted speakers on each side of the window you have your TV bracket underneath this is compatible to the one on the inside so if you like to take the TV from the inside slide it in out here you can do that and then you have your connections over here on the right. We do order ours, uh, special order ours with the aluminum rims along with the radial tires. Um, I'm going to step actually back to this one because I have it ready. I did remove the center cap here so you can see it is uh, easy lube axles along with self adjusting brakes. And if you look down here this does have your tire monitor pressure stems on it. You'll notice the number 65, which is the tire pressure that you need. And if this tire pressure gets low, you can see it turns to red. It means your tire pressure is low. And then after you fill it up, it'll go back to green. All right, here in the back is your bunk area on the inside. You do have storage underneath there. So you do have your front and rear storage, a lot of nice storage room in there so you can store a lot of things, very deep and long. All right, moving around to the back, this does come with your travel rack now. Um, we do order the spare tire for you, that is already mounted on there as well. Uh, you remove a pin on each side to lower the travel rack reinsert the pin on each side and then you can mount your firewood on there, your bicycles, uh, if you have totes or anything you like to take along you can set on there. 
Up between your clearance lights, you'll notice an additional bracket. That is for a backup camera. So it is prepped and ready for the backup camera if you would like to add that. On the driver's side is your hookup center and your dump station. We'll start with your dump station here first. Um, you have a gray handle and you have a black handle. The black handle is for your black tank, which is your toilet. Gray handle is for your gray tank, which would be your shower and your kitchen sink, and that all dumps out of this one port. At the hookup center, they also now add a light, a porch light back here, so if you working back here in the dark you actually have some light to see. Have your outside shower with your hot and cold your black tank flush so after you dump your black tank if you'd like to rinse that out you can connect a water hose to this to rinse it out. Uh, below the outside shower is your city water connection and your fresh water connection. If you dry camp this is the port that you fill your fresh water tank with and you turn on your water pump switch on the inside and then the city water connection is where you'd connect your water hose to at the campground. 30 amp connection. This does come with a separate detachable cord that you twist lock on. Um, you're not pulling a cord out, trying to shove it back in, take it away from storage on the inside. So very nice there. Moving on up uh, to the front here, we have your cable connection. So if you're at a campsite that has cable hookup, you're ready to go there. And then you have your six gallon gas electric DSI water heater here in the front. DSI standing for direct spark ignition and you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric. It's 16 gallons of water with a combination of both. If you look down here in the lower left hand corner, is an on and off switch. That is the electric side of the water heater. Then when we move to the inside, I'll show you the gas switch there. And always make sure you have water in the water heater before you turn on the electric side so you don't burn up the heating element. I believe that concludes the outside of the 26 DJSE and now we'll move to the inside. As we step inside we'll have your sofa right there with your bed in the front along with a privacy curtain. We have your kitchen on the driver's side, your dinette on the passenger side and then your bunks and bathroom in the back. Today we'll start right inside on your overhead cabinet above your dinette this is where your interior exterior light switches are as well as your awning uh, switch there. Uh, we'll go ahead and cover this while we're here. This is your stereo AM FM and Bluetooth and it has a host of other things there. I do have a picture of this. You can see on our website of everything it can do. Above that is your thermostat. This is a touch screen. Uh, this is what operates your air conditioner and your furnace. Moving to the front, this is a queen bed. You have a wardrobe on each side along with your overhead cabinets. You do have space to walk around the bed and you have a receptacle on each side there. And you can also see this does have the package that gives you the ducted AC. So we do include all packages. We include the stabilizer jacks, the spare tire, and the aluminum rims. Moving back to the sofa, if you look at the pictures on our website, uh, I do have this in various positions so you can see what that looks like. That does have your flip down cup holder. You can flip the sofa down for more sleeping arrangement if you'd like. There is storage under there as well overhead cabinets in the kitchen area glass inserted doors there you have your microwave there and your refrigerator your oven in the base cabinet along with a three burner glass drop in cooktop and more storage in your base cabinet two drawers and two doors we'll start right here at your kitchen sink this does come with a flush mounted sink cover giving you more countertop space. If you're not using the sink, this comes with a farm style uh, sink. Again, the glass drop-in cooktop is designed for the same thing, giving you more countertop space. If you're not using the stove, this is a bifold cover that flips back and also serves as a splash guard. You do have a light switch on the right hand side. You'll notice there's a blue 
LED light around each knob as well as an oven light. You do have the 8 cubic foot refrigerator. This is gas and electric. So you do have a separate freezer compartment there. Backing up to the dinette area, this I also, if you look at the pictures on our website, does fold down into more sleeping area. You do have storage under each dinette seat. Nice large overhead cabinet there. The bunk area, you have a double bunk over double bunk, so you have a nice large bunks there. And then at the back of the dinette seat here, between the bunks and the dinette, is your TV mounting bracket and then your connections on the side. The bathroom is on the opposing side of the bunks. This does have your toilet, your vanity, and a medicine cabinet, along with your Creative Breeze fan, skylight over the tub. And they do have new tubs now. These are wider. Uh, they're more not as deep and small. These are wider. Uh, a little bit more shallow, so there is more room in these new tubs. Alright, I believe that in covers everything on the inside of the 26 DJSE. I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you here. Again, you can contact myself or Henry at 866 338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan and thank you for watching.